We just built a brand new app that controls the LED lights on an ESP8266 and then mounted it on our drone. Now we want to see how well it works in real life. So to an abandoned airport, we brought our IoT device attached to the drone, a laptop, and a Wi-Fi access point. We control the IoT device and the drone from the laptop, communicating with it over a Wi-Fi access point. As we suspected, the packet loss increases as the drone gets further away. We pause every 10 meters of distance and we measure the packet loss rate using ICMP, also known as ping. We take notes of our packet loss observations. Later, we will use these numbers to help us fine tune our app to better handle adverse network conditions. Because sending your app out to the wild blue yonder, waiting for adverse network conditions to occur, is expensive, slow, and not reproducible. Back in the lab, we set up the same network with one additional piece of equipment, the KMAX network emulator. Well, we went outside and we flew. Today it's raining, we can't fly. So we want to continue our testing, so how can we do that? We're now using this KMAX. It allows us to introduce packet losses, delays, reordering, corruption, many other effects. We can do that on a per protocol basis, so we can do affect some protocols and leave others unaffected or affect different protocols differently. Uh, we can also vary the effects in, say, the controller to the drone direction and the drone to the controller direction. So we have lots and lots of flexibility here. What we are going to do today is we're simply going to introduce packet loss. And what we will do is we have our simple application here and our web server here on the drone, which turns on and off the LEDs. And we're going to impose the packet loss rates that we measured as we were out flying. So in our tests, we're going to start with the drone being effectively near our access point. And we'll have a loss, we'll dial in a loss rate of zero. Then we'll fly the drone in a virtual sense out 10 meters, and we'll dial in the packet loss rate that we experienced at 10 meters. And we'll keep moving out every 10 meters and we'll increase the packet loss rate to what we observed out there in the field and we'll watch how our application degrades at those various distances and we can then tune our application to fi uh, fix any bugs that we encounter and we can replay this whole scenario we don't have to go outside and get wet or deal with the fact that the sun has gone down in the meantime so it makes it very nice and convenient for our app we used a paired value table to model our packet loss, but for more complex simulations, we could have used equations, statistical distributions, or simple pulse models. This allows for a more accurate model. And then using our model, we optimized our app by coding shorter keyword tags, like F, V, rather than flying vector. And we tried out various compression techniques on our JSON data. Each time, KMAX showed us what happened with the new code changes. Of course, this is just a part of what you can do with KMAX. It can also emulate packet delay, packet duplication, reordering, jitter, and limited bandwidth. Or you can use our push button predefined scenarios. But in each case, the process is the same and you can speed up development and debug time to deliver a more robust app to your users.